So we all know Discmania has a Sky God 4, which is an amazing premium plastic throwing putter, nice and stable for drives off the tee and for upshots and all of that. But Discmania also has a couple other premium plastic putters, and I think that these could have some spots in a lot of players' bags to either complement the Sky God 4 or even just have it replace that spot in the bag, because these are some great underrated putters, and we're gonna talk about them. Now disclaimer, unfortunately my dog got a hold of my Sky God 4, so it is a little chewed up a bit, but it is a testament to how durable this new sea line plastic is because there's a lot of little teeth dimples in it, but he didn't puncture the flight plate at all and it's still as stable as ever, so good job Discmania. Let's get into this stuff. So right off the bat with the feel differences between these three discs, the P2, it's a beadless putter and it's kind of deep in the hand for the feel of it. So the Sensei is actually a lot shallower. It's pretty shallow for a putter. It almost reminds me of like a Luna type disc or a shallower Warden, if you've ever used a Warden or anything like that. It feels really nice in the hand. If the P2 is a little too deep for you, the Sensei it just, it feels so good. And the plastic feels really nice too. It's, I believe it's like Yikun discs. Is that who makes them? I don't, I'm not exactly sure. It's some, it's, but they're made in China, but this active premium plastic feels really, really good. It's, it's, I feel like a lot of people see their active line and they just kind of don't want to touch it because it's like, well, that's not for me. That's for beginners or for cheap discs. No, mm -mm. These, this, this Sensei is solid and the plastic feels really good. And this Shogun, this one's even deeper than the P2. So if you really like deep putters, this one's beaded. It almost has like a dagger type feel to it. So if, it feels almost like a lid. So it's kind of hard, it, it feels, it's not hard to throw, it feels weird to throw because it's like so chunky there. Um, if you throw in a dagger, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so this one definitely takes a little get you, little bit of getting used to in terms of the hand feel and throwing it and, and being comfortable with it. When these two have more of like a traditional feel to it. But again, the plastic feels really good. It's a, This one's a glow plastic. We actually still have some of these at ApolloDiscGolf.com if you want to check them out. All these discs will have links in the description of where you can pick them up. But yeah, this active line is just... I'm impressed. It's solid. It's so good. But the sea line is also amazing that they've been knocking it out of the park. And it's durable, as you can see from my dog trying to chew it up. And it still flies really well and nice and overstable. So, speaking of flight, let's talk about it. All right, now getting into the flight of these, the Sensei is very reminiscent of a Luna type putter. It is just dead straight doesn't turn a whole lot at all, if any. If you throw it clean, it won't turn, and then it'll just give you a soft fade at the end. Now, out of all of these, because it's shallower, it doesn't glide as much. But also, because it's shallower, it's a lot faster than the other two. So it can fly further, just as far as like a Luna-type disc, and it's more of like a touchy approach disc. So if you're more of a touch player, or touch approach player, then you might like the Sensei a lot more than you would like the Sky God 4. Now, that doesn't mean you, there's no place in your bag for a Sky God, there definitely is, because the Sky God 4 is just a lot more overstable than the Sensei. And you can see that on just like a lot of drives or long approach shots. Now when you get really close, like 150 to 180 feet approach shots, they fly pretty similar, but you can definitely tell the Sky God has a little bit more stability to it. But it's interesting because this has a lot more glide to it, so it'll stay in the air a little bit longer. And you can notice that a lot on the shorter stuff. And I mean, you can notice it more on the, the longer drives as well, but because it's so much deeper and more blunt, it's just a lot slower than the Sensei. So in terms of distance, this will still outdistance the P2, even though this has just a lot more glide. But this should just go further than you would think for an overstable putter. Now the Shogun is, is pretty interesting. I would categorize this more as a touchy player's approach shot type disc as well. It still has stability. I would say it has stability somewhere between 
the sensei and the sky god. It has a decent fade at the end, but it has a it has more glide than the sky god form, but because it has that chunky rim, it's a lot slower. So this will just glide forward a lot more on approaches. It will feel weird driving it because it has that blunt edge. It just doesn't like being just thrown really fast when the Sky God and the Sensei are a little bit more aerodynamic. But for approaches, this thing is still just great, nice and overstable and reliable for those. Now between the Sky God and the Shogun, I would say that there's a little bit of overlap between these two, but I could totally see someone bagging both because this one's just a little bit more touchy for approaches and you might like for shorter approaches to have a more touchy overstable putter than the Sky God. But on drives, the Sky God off of the tee is definitely just better in my opinion. Oh, I have a little bit of plastic from the from the basket back there, that's nice. So although there is a little bit of overlap here, I can totally see someone bagging both of these. Now where there is not overlap is a Sensei. The Sensei could honestly complement either one of these. So like, even if you have a Sky God, I would totally check out a Sensei. This thing is just dead straight. It can hold whatever line you put it on. This, like, if you get used to throwing this, you could just shred with this disc. Like, this is just such a good, putter. Now I I do think that um, at least from what I've seen so far I couldn't find any senseis like in their base plastic in max weight. I, I could just be I could be missing it. I don't know. Um, let me know if there, there are heavier weight ones but I really think that like Discmania should start making this in more in some heavier plastics because this thing is just it's just so good. I could totally see someone who's just not a fan of the deeper like Rainmaker, Sky God 4, or Shogun, They're, that they like the Sensei because it's just shallow, a shallow putter and it's quality plastic. So I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand why. But um, speaking of Rainmaker, I just reviewed that recently. So you can go check out that review over here if you want to see another Discmania putter. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.